Back in 2012, during what seemed to be, I wouldn't say the peaking point, but when the LGBTQ and the homosexual movement started to gain, I guess, speed. And then three years later, they legalized homosexual marriage. Well, in 2012, two, um, I guess you could say, raps, rappers or hip hop artists named Macklemore and Ryan Lewis came out with a song titled Same Love. And from that title, I guess you can probably determine what it was about. It was glorifying and promoting homosexual partnership and marriage. Well, in that same year, another rapper named Bizzle, he's categorized as a Christian rapper, made a response to Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, and he used the same instrumental as they did in his song, but he wrote new lyrics. In the beginning of his song, he quoted two Bible verses, and we'll read those here today. The first one is 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 through 5. And 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5 reads, This know also, that in the last day perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despiser of those things that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. And then he quotes Isaiah 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. So I'd like to look at some of the lyrics from Mr. Bizzle's song that he was made of his response to the other rappers. In his song, he says, It's funny how the media portrays things. they really pushing hard for this gay thing. And it's so wicked how they manipulate things. Can't even disagree with them without them calling it a hate thing. I say, you wrong, and you'll holler hate. Instantly. But you say, we're the ones who don't tolerate differences. There's a whole lot of things that I could say, really, but see, your hypocrisy is something I could paint vividly. Saying it's the way you were born, I'm sure that you lust just the way I do in a different form. But I'm married, so if I give in to mine, I'm a cheater. But if you give in to yours, you just fight to make it legal. You'd rather fight God than fight sin. The Bible is all right until it calls what you like sin. Now, being on social media, you see a lot of different videos of all kinds of things. But I've seen a lot of these people going out and preaching at these LGBTQ events, pride parades, and so on. And when you see these people preaching the word of God, the opposing people will be screaming at them, yelling, cursing them, even going as far as assaulting them and destroying their equipment. I saw one where a so-called lesbian preacher, she was saying something along the lines of, the whole, pace, the whole basis of God is just to love one another. Well, the guy standing there that was preaching quickly said, that's not the, well, she was saying that's the main commandment that God says. And he says, actually, that's not the main commandment God says. If we read Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 following, it says, Master, which is the great commandments in the law? Jesus said to him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second like is like unto it. Thou shalt love the neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Our goal in teaching others and bringing them out of their sins and unto Christ is not to be I guess like they are saying or thinking that we're just saying, oh, you're in sin, you're going to hell, and I'm glad about it. We're not rejoicing in people's sins, but rather we're bringing it to light what God has said in order to teach them and to bring them out of error. 
whether it be homosexuality, fornication, adultery, stealing, any of the sins that we can find in the Bible. The problem is that people don't understand what true love is. And you see, like he said in his lyrics, some of the people who say we're the intolerant ones seem to be the most intolerant and the most hateful. So we ask, what is love? Well, in the Bible, there's various forms of love and various uh, Greek words used for love. But the main one is agape. Agape love is the highest form of love. Agape love in the Bible is a love that comes from God. God's love is part of his character. God's love, God's love comes from an outpouring of who he is. As in 1 John 4 and verse 8 states, God is love, meaning he is the source of this agape love. His love is undeserved, it is gracious, and it is sacrificial. We are to love God, and we are to love others with this agape love. Agape love is a choice, though. A deliberate striving for another's highest good. And it is demonstrated through action. For those who are in the Bible class this morning, Mr. David asked, have you ever seen love? Love is not something we can see, but we can see the result and the action of it. God set the standard for agape love in sending Jesus to die for us while we were still sinners. So then we ask, how can we show love? And how are we supposed to show love? I think plain and simple, John 14 and verse 15 answers that pretty clearly. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. We also see in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. Repro reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. It's going to be unpopular, and it is unpopular to preach the word, especially against topics such as homosexuality, because we're supposed to be an accepting and loving people, is what many will say. How many people in this audience like to be rebuked or told they're wrong? I'm sure the action of it itself, we don't enjoy being rebuked. But we see that showing true love to others is to help them turn away from their sins. I'm sure if there was a lion outside that door and I knew about it and Andrew didn't know about it, I think true love towards Andrew would be warning him that there's a lion outside the door. Some may say, oh, just let Andrew do what he wants to do. Don't tell him about it. That's how you show true love. Well, what's the difference? We want people to come out of their sins, so we need to warn them. And Christ is our perfect example. He shows his love for dying for us while we were still in our sins. In Romans chapter 5, verses 6 and 8, it says, For when we are yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely would a righteous man will one die? Yet preadventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commanded his, Lord, his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Every time I hear this passage, my mind goes up to the prisons in Huntsville and taking one of their place for one of their crimes. I didn't do the crime. They did the crime. They are deserving of the punishment, and up in Huntsville, sometimes the death penalty. That's what Christ did for us, and even to a higher degree than that. He came out here and lived as a man, took upon him our sins, and went through the terrible suffering and torture of Calvary. So in conclusion, it is showing love to others to try and correct them from our sins, or from their sins, and bring them under Christ. And we also need to make sure that we are living correctly before we try correcting others. That's how we show our love to others, is to help them in that agape love. And how to show our love towards God is to obey His word and to obey His commandments. 
Well, maybe you're here this afternoon and you haven't obeyed God yet. Then, frankly, you're not showing God love. Why not put him on in baptism today? If you believe with all your heart that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, repent of your sins, confess him before men, and we will help you in baptism. Maybe you're here this afternoon and you've strayed from God's word. Maybe you haven't been showing God love in all avenues of your life. Why not make that correction? If it's of a public nature, repent publicly. If it's a private nature, repent privately. Whatever your need may be, please come. While together we stand and sing.